This video was sponsored by the Deck of Many in their Big Bad Booklet series. Intelligence. Brushed off as a stat wizards and artificers need to max in order to use their magic better. But it has so many other uses that a simple-minded spellcaster could never realize. Now, obviously, this build is about your intelligence modifier, and how to break the game so badly, even your DM will struggle to put the pieces of their destroyed campaign back together. We're talking unlimited intelligence here, guys, and the way you too can achieve it at level 1. So, I know to a lot of you that the number in your intelligence is just a stat. It raises some of your specific specific skills and bumps up your spell powers. But if you look at it from a roleplay standpoint, creatures with higher stats act a lot differently than creatures with lower ones. To give you an idea on what I mean by that, there was an old reddit post made around 2 years ago, which generally discussed what having a high and low intelligence score meant. At a negative 5, you're animalistic, being incapable of logic or reason. With a negative 4, you're still a bit animalistic, but are now capable of following simple plans and tactics. At a negative 2, you're a lot more human save for your horrible memory and train of thought. At a zero, you know just enough to get by in life. With a plus three, you can start to invent new ways to use your newfound knowledge. And finally, a plus five has you at the level of a genius. After all this time, you can finally do your taxes without help. So by these standards, we have a good idea on what raising an ability score actually does to one of our characters, and what we'll need to do if we want to break it. To set the stage, let's take a look at the anime Dr. Stone. In this show, every human being in the world was turned to stone. The one thing that remained in these humans were their minds. They could still think and make logical decisions. Thousands of years passed until one man was finally able to escape from his stone prison. But there's one main problem with this. If he were to just break free from the stone around him the second he was able to, there's a high chance he'd find himself in the middle of winter or summer. Two very deadly seasons to start from scratch in. So how would this man be able to tell when the seasons around him are changing? Feel free to put one of your own D&D characters into this situation and you can start to see how impossible possible that might be to predict. Even with a maxed out intelligence, not even the smartest person in the world could be aware of what's going on around them when their five senses are taken away. So to counteract that, we need a way to train our mind past its normal limitations. Unlike a lot of builds that we've done before, we can't rely on magical items, as if we're trapped in stone we'd be unable to use or activate most of them. Not only that, but even if we could, not a lot of items in D&D 5e could help us with this problem anyway. Well, turns out the solution to this is pretty easy. Not only could we stay completely alert of the changing seasons, we can also accurately predict when the sun's rising and which direction our stone-covered body is facing as the years pass. I'm talking near complete awareness here, unlocking some sort of superpower. How is this possible? Well, in D&D, when you level up, sometimes you can grab an ability score increase. For simple folk, just taking a flat plus 2 in a stat is more than enough, but for more inventive players, you can choose to grab a feat instead. Feats in D&D range from incredibly useful skills that can make you an unkillable god, to garbage skills that make you want to jump off a cliff. The feat we'll be taking a closer look at is a relatively unknown one, being one of the worst in the game. But for the situation our characters are in, being stuck in stone for thousands of years, it'll soon be one of the best. The feat we need in order to max our intelligence and become the most knowledgeable being in the universe is Keen Mind. It gives us one point in our intelligence and a few other mediocre traits that make keeping track of things slightly easier. Normally, I'd say this feat is absolutely garbage. With a simple survival check, anyone could feasibly tell which way they're heading, what time it is, or what they may have heard in the past month, which are just some of the quirks that this thing offers. But in a world where your connection to the outside is cut off, where your five senses are rendered completely useless, and years begin to pass like seconds, Keen Mind starts to grow exponentially as a useful feat. First off, you always know which way is north. That means even inside a thick layer of stone, you can tell if your body has been moved recently and in what direction. If you go from being upright to completely upside down, you'll know. Secondly, you always know how many hours are left before the next sunrise or sunset. In a normal D&D campaign, this would almost always be useless, but while trapped in, I don't know, a literal casket of stone, it can help you keep track of every year that goes by, counting each day that passes and the decades that follow. And finally, you can accurately recall anything you've seen or heard in the last month. Assuming your DM rules that you can hear your own thoughts, that just means you can keep track of your own ideas and information 30 times easier, making the whole tracking thousands of years thing a piece of cake. The human mind can only keep track of so much information, and the fact that Keen Mind has no limit means that your mental acuity, information recall, and analytical skill, or intelligence for short, is growing with each day that passes. To everyone who thought I'd be raising my intelligence score into infinity, sorry to disappoint, 
But considering that intelligence represents your mental capacity and brain functions, Keen Mind does everything intelligence tries to achieve and more. In the right situations, you can bet your bottom dollar it's a feat worth picking up. Thanks for sticking around, and a reminder that this video was sponsored by the Deck of Many in their Big Bad Booklet series. Every month comes new bosses to D&D 5th edition, with a blind basilisk and mutated drow being the antagonist for the new zine, available right now for patrons. These two monstrosities stalk their prey in deep crystal caverns below the earth. Will you be the hunter or the hunted? So if you're looking for a new challenge for your party members, subscribe today at bigbadbooklet.com. Link in the description.